him on that pedigree of like top 10 doubles players. Like, I don't know if you've seen what he's done against some people in 2v1s, but he's come back like four stocks down against like Rafi and Kool Aid, I think it was. Like, that is not something you normally hear anybody say in a sentence. Ever. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think, actually, no, I don't think it was Kool Aid, but still. It was Fierce Taint. I got it. But just the fact that you're able to do that is insane. And then coupled with, like you said, well, I agree 100%, one of the most, if not, like, most consistent cloud in terms of not top quality, like, like, like upper end of PGR type players right. along the Eastern Seaboard. Like, his fundamentals are so strong, his combo follow-ups and his mental awareness are so good. Uh, and especially against characters like the, the, the run back of Melvin and Luigi, both of these characters are going to have to deal with that disjoint. And Cloud does a great job of spacing them out, especially when you have Peach just covering all of your uh, unsafe options. I'm really looking forward to seeing the damage that's going to be done on both sides of the team. Wow. And oh. just like that, we already see the first stock taken off the green team with a very satisfying forward error, but green team answers back immediately. <laughs> but you know what? I asked and they gave it. Like, I was like, I want to see destruction. I want to see some amazing plays. And both blue team and green team gave it to us immediately. We nice. might have been taking a lot of time into guessing up blue team, but as we just saw from the previous set, green team's no joke. Melvin and Scott already managing to contest space and build up damage as well as they can. And much like the adaptation they made towards the latter half of last set, they're staying mobile because they know they can't afford to lock down one space because Cloud could break that super easy. Correct. Yeah, just throwing out something like an air or even having limit available to them like that, it's you can never really feel comfortable while you're around Cloud. And nice follow-up. Once again, they're like, Ralphie's just extending all these combos. Even though they're small hits, he's getting putting on so much damage. Scott went from like 40 to 94 in a couple seconds. But... Uh, I like the fact that Melvin, at the very beginning of the set, has been showing no fair. Unfortunately, Link getting clipped by the back air by uh, Ralphie there is going to take a team kill. But I like the fact that both Scott and Melvin haven't been playing so much scared of Cloud. Even though you need to respect him, they're still positioning themselves properly to try and get him early and try and get good damage. Or just run up to him and take a down smash. Yeah, it gets them killed, but the effort is there, and that could you know, scare blue team later on in the set, especially if they can try to keep things close, because even though both members of green team are on their last stocks, members of blue team are starting to reach in there as well as Ralphie just loses his second to last stock. Although, Ling Ling's in pretty fresh at 25% and still maintaining amount of pressure, following behind wherever um, Ralphie is, making sure that no matter if green team can escape, there is some sort of option covered. Very true, and uh, right now, uh, Ling sitting with that two stock lead in, as said in chat that I just noticed, that's a very good uh, call. Ling does such a great job with survivability that even though Green Team has done a really good job of even in this matchup for the most part, I think the key is not even to focus on Cloud. It's to get rid of, to, to not let Ling just sit back and relax as long as possible because he'll, so, he'll hold on to that stock to like 180. Right. And they need to put some good like stage positioning on him because Ralphie's been doing a good job of just like throwing out nares and like breaking up their stage control that they've had. Finally sealing it out. Very good stuff. Noticing what basically we were just talking about. A little discrepancy from green team causes them to break that stage control they had. Allowing Ralphie to survive at 102 without worrying about too much pressure. With his limit around, it looks like he's going to be surviving that and trying to control the right hand side of the stage while Ling is busting up on Sky. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with what they did before. Like you said, they uh, they had the grab and they had the ability to follow up and maybe try and steal out a stock on Alfie, but instead they just backed off. And now all of a sudden, Green Team is behind with uh, 107 and Ralphie sitting there with Limit. Very scary positioning right there. And that's going to be a stock. Takes the grab into up smash. Very solid stuff on Blue Team's part, which was not a very dominant match on either player's part. No, yeah, Team's stocks were flying left and right. And we saw matches over within just about four minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, from what we said was a very patient play style between Ling and Ralphie. That was not a patient game. Like, they were the, they were all over uh, Green Team every chance they got. And their team follow-ups for only teaming for the first time, you could see the the veteran play. You can see how much knowledge they have when it comes to playing in doubles. Because the moment they saw a grab coming, they were already for it. Excuse me, already ready for the follow-up. 
they have these intrinsic understandings of doubles where it's like you're better off handing off to your teammate, that way they can extend a play. If you have the time to be able to align yourself, use a move that's going to knock back towards your teammate, mm -hmm. that way you can try to juggle with hits. And we saw that a lot with Nair chains between Ling Ling and, uh, mm -hmm. and Ralphie. Yeah, I think that uh, there's there's too many players when they go into doubles who seem to forget that it's almost always better to give your current target to your teammate because it, unlike in other fighting games where you get true combos, you need your teammate to bounce and reflect. So they're forced to stay in hit stun and you get those long combo extensions like Ling and Ralphie were doing. Uh, and Melvin and Scott were doing as well, just for the most part, they were winning a lot more 1v1 situations. And unfortunately for Scott, he is still in shield break and only takes a grab for it at the end of all that. Uh, so it worked out beneficially for him, but Ling Ling with that coverage to keep uh, Melvin from breaking him out of that. Scott almost had his shield broken twice in that instance, but instead he just gets dunked for his efforts. Melvin also flying off the top, Lucy coming into game two dominant. Mm -hmm. Stage pick really don't seem to have too much of an impact on the momentum that Blue Team has built up. Yeah, you know, for the most part, you normally think bringing, like, Cloud to FD is a good idea. I think that's a huge mistake in doubles. Why? Because when you have a character like uh, Peach, who can get those good volley extensions, Cloud doesn't really need to worry about the fact that you can't land center stage uh, like against some people and he can't get the same combo extensions. He's got a teammate extending it for him. So he's still just as strong. I think his stage may be like, uh, like, oh, when you get a raw up B like that, that's a good way to steal out of stock. Well, uh, maybe a stage like Lilac or up to such. Lilac would be better for disrupting Blue Team's movement, and we've seen them stay super consistent in following each other's trails so that they can get follow-up attacks. I feel like Lilac might have been a better choice for disrupting that, but they've dug their grave here at Final Destination. Now it's a matter of seeing if they can fill it. Yeah, what do you think Green Team needs to do, like, just to, like, get regain control of this match? Right now I'm taking... Like, I mean, it's not over, obviously, but it's looking very bad at the moment. Honestly, I can't really think of anything. They keep on controlling stage. Blue Team snatches it right back. They get their combos together between the two of them. It gets interrupted by the other. And now they're losing down on their stocks, down to their last. Lily has yet to lose a stock. Sitting at 143%, sitting pretty controlling Melvin at the ledge. And Melvin not able to clutch it out. Yeah, right now, this is just the amount of pre but Like, Scott was waiting to go and try and cover uh, Ralphie's recovery. Ling immediately just forgot everything about what he was doing to Melvin to go protect his teammate. Like, they, they're kind of feeling themselves a little bit right now. And it, fresh stocks, you can play a little bit uh, more reckless trying to get into position. But I think Ling is just like, with the fact that he has next to no percent, you're going to have to give him or something to, just to steal this match back. Yeah, the, the opportunity's there, but it's an incredibly slim one. Blue Team's still looking dominant, even as they lose their stocks and build up in percentage. Ralphie's sitting at 142%. He's still throwing himself into Green Team, disrupting them and allowing Ling Ling a lot of room to breathe so that as soon as someone pops out of it, he can follow up on it. Yeah, right now, it's, uh, I mean, if they, if they can manage to see all Ralphie's stock, maybe. Uh, never mind. Now it's infinitely right. harder. Nelvin trying to match up to a three-stock deficit at the ledge. And with Peach and Cloud hot on his trails to edge guard him. You know, I like the idea. It still ended up working out. But <laughs> I like the, I like the idea of what he went for, trying to just get the double suicide because he had to stop. Um, but didn't matter. They had enough room to play with. Got the gimp off of that up because he ripped his jump. And yep. Blue Team taking it after what was a very close first game. Relatively dominantly game two. Now it's